What's up studs and chats, today we have a pretty dark video to check out. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, that Please is impossible. It's part it of everyone's life nowadays. Just so you know, in London, drivers waste around 300 hours a year locked in traffic. That's mm. a lot. No, many I mean, when you think about it, it's really sad that traveling can waste so much of your time. This is why sometimes you need to make your way closer to your workplace. Like, being close to your work is very beneficial. But I know not everybody can do that. Let me know your thoughts on that, though. happen while stuck in traffic. And one of them, one that you would not expect Damn. to see, is a strange phenomenon. One that you cannot even begin to explain develop it right in front of your eyes. I've seen this a video sort of what happened with Glazen and his family when they were stuck in traffic in Sao Paulo when something Jeez. strange captured their attention. And this yeah. is what they caught on camera. Ah, oh, this is what they caught? No, Yo, what's that? Oi, maldito camion, maldito camion del demonio. Nah, man, that's my left ear is enjoying it, but certainly, Brian, you're not gonna believe this. Brian, it's literally that. It has that oval shape. Kind of reminds me of the Phoenix Lights. Could be seen by many of those people now stuck in traffic. The thing is, Glazen couldn't get a good shot of it because of the truck just next to him. So he continued on the road for many more minutes so he could get a better angle of it. And this is what they saw. I'm recording. I don't see it. What the actual? I cannot believe this. It's just above us. Oh my. Now it's certainly, it reminds me of Phoenix lights. Very similar to those lights. Whatever this thing is, it seems like it's hovering there in the same place for quite a long time. Yeah. I did some research on this video and I couldn't find much more information on it. However, I did find a similar video that was also captured in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is what was caught on camera. I was gonna say like if... What? What? Yo, I was gonna say like if we have different angles, if a, a lot more people recorded. Now, here's the thing. There was a similar thing, a similar case with UFO sighting, okay? There was some something happened where there was a UFO in the sky and five, six people captured, all of them posted simultaneously on their on their accounts. And later on, they came out and confirmed it was fake, that it was part of like CGI and all of them were friends and they did it like CGI. I'm just trying to say that it could be fake, but it's good when multiple people record it at the same time and we get different angles. It's good, but even nowadays that could be faked out, which is actually now in this sad case, it though. It could be but... just a crane on a very foggy day. However, in Glayson's video, I don't think that's it. I think it's something else. Yeah. What's your take? Real or fake? I don't know, man. Now, if there's one place that I would love to... You know that we have technology that can fake it, but I do believe that UFOs exist. Even the government has confirmed it. I do believe in that. This video can be legit, but again, man, it's just one of those things. It's like that this kind of evidence is never enough when you know people can fake stuff out like that, bro. To visit someday, it's Shepherdstown in West Virginia. Shepherdstown was founded in 1762, and it's older than West Virginia itself. Now the curious thing about Shepherdstown is that it's considered one of the most haunted cities in the United States of America. Of course. In the 1800s, during the Civil War, there was a battle known as the Battle of Shepherdstown. And to this day, there are many cemeteries where you'll find tombstones of hundreds of Confederate soldiers. From hotels to university and several different cemeteries, Shepherdstown's locals are full of stories of strange things that shouldn't happen. They happen all over since the 1800s. They said we can come to the graveyard ourselves and see people one time to be. They uh, done graveyard, bro? Oh, damn, this about to be bad. A YouTuber by the name of Codename Envious was with a friend of his when they decided to do one of Shepherdstown's famous ghost tours. And I guess they thought, heck, why not record it all? And they said we can come to the graveyard ourselves and see people one time to be. Uh... So, what, what are they gonna spot? Like, your lights going down, bruh. Where are you? Somebody's probably gonna run in front of them or something. I'm expecting that. Let's see what happens. Hey! Anything. Ay, 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 
yeah, 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 yeah. I did see it on the left. Anything at all. While exploring the yeah. cemetery, Envious and his friend thought nothing had happened. They started saying out loud for something to make itself present, and something did. They weren't all alone. I think I've seen However, this clip it was on News Top after Five. Envious uploaded the tape to YouTube that they realized a shadowy figure can be seen right after Envious asks for something to make itself present. Probably now, whatever Shibaba. this thing is, it certainly didn't want to make itself apparent. As you can see, when Envious shines his light directly at it, it disappears, only to reappear again when it's back to darkness. Mm. Curiously enough, Envious and his friend did not spot this thing at the time, Yo, only after that's, they uploaded the video. That's wild. So you're telling me that when you shine the light, it disappears, but when it's dark, it appears? Yo. That's wild. Though. Now, at first, I thought that this could be Envious Shadow or something like that. This is when I realized that his flashlight was pointing the opposite way. So it couldn't be his shadow, nor his friends. Yeah. So what exactly is going on here? Might be a Chihuahua shadow. I don't know about you, but one of my favorite songs to listen to sometimes is The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. It makes me wonder about all those things that might just be out there. Man, there are, yo, I love this, bro. I love this shit, man. There are a lot of conspiracies about Dark Side of the Moon. Like, I've, I've, I've binge watched the Y Files channel his videos a lot and he has talked about a lot of this stuff as well i recently I, last night in fact i watched a video about the dark moon the, the dark side of the moon from him and it was like crazy dude are we alone are we not what is actually out there is there anything what? these are some of the this questions many? that i ask myself and i guess everyone does sometimes well recently a facebook post went viral of some pictures and videos that dane walker made using a telescope he captured something Bizarre, something that apparently shouldn't be there. Yeah, the towers on the moon. Yeah, there are like so much con uh, conspiracy about like towers being on moon and stuff, and NASA's trying to hide that and whatnot, bro. Now, if you observe closely, it looks like there's some sort of huge structure, a tower maybe, on the moon. I'm not sure if this is indeed what's going on here or if it's just light and shadows, but I'm not too sure. Some yeah, I mean, it could be like rock formation. I mean, that's what they like Bruh. to say. Rock formation! It's a shadow! It's the rocks! They always say that, but it, like, I mean, it could be, but you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely suspect. And, and the things with conspiracy is that it's like, it's mad entertaining. It's like hella entertaining to a lot of people. And uh, most people, if you ask them, like, do you trust the government? Most of them will tell you, no, man, we don't trust it. Mm -mm. There are some things that we trust them with, but not everything. That's like the majority. Like there would be probably like some people that would, uh, I would like to, I, I would like to call them bots. Only the bots would 100% trust uh, the government on everything. But, but listen, man, there's definitely something, man. There's definitely something. People left comments sure. asking Dane, which part of the moon is this? And he says he doesn't know exactly because he's just a beginner. I myself <laughs> tried contact. <laughs> Bumblecock! Beginner! I mean, at least he's being truthful, though, Dane, right? And I'm waiting still for an answer. I'll update you guys if I get one. At now, least he's being truthful. watching this video a couple of times, my conclusion is that this object, whatever this thing is, is too big. Yeah. It's a rock formation! Your You're opinion, wrong! Could it be that there are things on the moon that we're not aware of? And could this be indeed a tower or maybe just an illusion? Uh, no, I don't think it's an illusion. Either it's okay. rock formation or probably a tower. I don't know, man. I guess. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Your dark, lonely roads don't take me Hola. home. Hola. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo, it's gonna jump out. She's so zoomed in on the now, camera, bro. When it comes bro. to mythological creatures, you're probably thinking of dragons. Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, or something else. I don't know, leave a comment. Which one did you think about? Now, I'm pretty sure you didn't think about the Pombero, which is a mythical humanoid creature of small I stature in Guarani mythology. And the legend is an important part of the culture of a region stretching from northeast Argentina to southern Brazil. I didn't see it though, now, like, I just heard says, the screams. Most of these creatures are just myths, a figment of someone's imagination. But there are stories that people tell of encounters with such things in the middle of the night, in the woods, 
And sometimes it's not just stories, sometimes people actually capture these things on camera. E -e -e. Now in previous videos of mine, I've talked a bit about the Pombero. Oh damn. Yeah. Is that a snake? Probably a snake. Yo, it's a snake. Decime. It looks like a snake. Eh? In this video, but, for instance, a mother is... But it's bizarre. Can snakes do that? Can they, like, uh, get up the ground? I mean, their necks probably can, you know, but but it's... Uh, I don't know. It, it looks like a snake to me, but I'm not a... I don't have animalpedia with me, so Talking I Talking to her child when all of a sudden, a strange creature can be seen in the background. One of the dogs recognizes that there is something wrong. Eh? It's a snake, though. Oh, damn. Yeah, something else. That's something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's someone else. Now, the That's video is recorded in Paraguay, and it's not exactly possible to make out if this is the Pombero or if it's something else. Okay, like this looks like a snake, but right here, it, it, I kind of saw a face. Like, was that a panda? Bruh. Panda? Chinese panda in there? A couple of years ago, a YouTube channel by the name of User posted a video of what's supposed to be a real Pombero caught on camera. In the very beginning of the video, a couple of friends are listening to music and dancing. And I believe this could be in Paraguay because of the language they are speaking. TikTok ruins society, bro. Speaking. When all of a sudden they capture this on <laughs> camera. <laughs> it looks like whatever they captured didn't like them, uh, didn't like them getting that cloud for TikTok or probably. <laughs> Oh, a group of boys spots what appears to be some sort of humanoid creature moving just next to a tree a couple of meters away from them. They do what anyone would do when they run, scare. Br Brad don't even know what they saw and they just start. <laughs> This should just started running, man. That's such a human human response to danger, man. That's human response to danger. Smash the like button if you would have ran away. Uh, I mean, most of you probably. Like, come on, son. Like, come on, man. Stop lying. Stop capping. If you're like, nah, man, I wouldn't run away. Nah, 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 nah. You capping. You probably would run away, too. You're just trying to be strong on the internet, but in reality, you would probably run away as well. Oh, you would probably run away, right? And so, probably. As heck. Now whatever this thing is, it doesn't look like an ordinary creature to me. It left the group of boys and internet users baffled and scratching their heads. In your opinion, what is this? Is it really a Pombero or is it maybe something else? The thing is, there are many videos of supposed Pombero. Maybe it's just a random person on the street that was just like trying to sleep and he was like, bro, like y'all dancing, y'all blasting music for, for TikTok and ruining my sleep. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get y'all asses. Probably, it's probably that. Findings. But there hasn't been much update on the subject. This is until last week when a video went viral of a family who was traveling in northern parts of Argentina. Oh, and all geez. of a sudden, not only them, but everyone who was around was surprised by a bizarre and unknown creature. Oh, this damn. is what happened. Yo, looks like a panda though, like... Hey, 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 hey. Yo, what's that? Kinda looks like a... Like a penguin, maybe? Is that a penguin? Oh, it's coming their way, bro. Oh my god. Now there's not much information about the video, but I'm guessing that the chainsaw that can be heard in the background is someone trying to scare off whatever this creature is. Oh shit. If you actually take a look at it, and the video quality isn't that good, it looks like a small bear. But that's not the case, because it's standing up and it's walking from one side to the other. It has like hands so kind of like is, that, you know? It could like... be a pombero, but I'm not too sure. What's your take? Uh, kind of looks like a penguin. Bruh. I know. Okay, come on, man. Like, I'm just trying to throw suggestions your way, trying to throw ideas your way, and you're gonna make fun of me like that, bro. Like, uh, listen, man. This is how we communicate. Like, we communicate. We come to a solution. We come to ideas. Like, and we cancel ideas out. Quite frankly, could be like a like a penguin. If you don't think it's a penguin, but like, whatever. Okay, probably something else then. But come on, son. Like, let me at least speak, bruh. Bruh. Anticrawl is a YouTube channel from Finland and he stopped posting videos four years ago. Oh, However, dang. he has a few videos on his channel and most of them are just regular videos. But there's one video with almost 1 million views. 
oh, where she... him and a couple of friends are hiking in the woods in a very cold day. And all of a sudden, something strange happens. And they capture it all on camera. This is what they recorded. Oh, damn. So it's probably capture something, huh? So what's gonna happen? Someone behind them, maybe? Like a bear, like a tall person, Bigfoot? Yeah, the audio bizarre, though. Bro, I have heard this kind of audio near where I'm at, too. I believe the only video once. was captured in the region of Tamala in Finland in 2012, and Antikral goes on to explain the description. The voice lasted almost 10 minutes. My camera's microphone is quite bad, so the noise is not as scary as it was in real life. Mm. Now, many internet users left comments saying that they have had a similar experience, that at some point in their lives, yeah. they have heard a similar sound. And to this day, no one has found a reasonable explanation. Yeah, bro, like, um, years ago, the sound, I'm, like, listen, it's been years, so I don't know how, if it was kind of like the same sound or not, but it was kind of bizarre, it was kind of similar, is that what I can give you? And I was, like, in a park near me, I'm in Montreal, Canada, and I, I heard that, it was kind of bizarre, though, like, uh, but I hear this a lot, that this kind of happens a lot in the u.s and i mean I've, I've been watching secure team for a little bit and he also has made videos on this situation and the the conspiracy here is that it's it's probably something underground like they're doing something underground and it's sound from that i don't know man that's like the conspiracy like however others the rumors, noticed the rumors. That there is a power line cable just above them and that could be actually resonating the sound of the wind even though some noticed that there is no wind in your opinion, mm. what do you think is going on here? And have you ever heard anything similar? Yeah, I have. I have, though. Now, there are several unexplained videos on TikTok nowadays, and most of them are clearly fake. However, there is one specific video that has been making its rounds, and it was uploaded to the Liz J TikTok account. In the video, we can see several people gathering around a coffin, and if you observe closely, there is a child that seems to be playing with what appears to be a few strings just next to the lid. Now these strings appear to be coming from inside the coffin and watch what happens. Okay, yo, bro, don't tell me the coffin will open just slightly and we're gonna see a hand coming out of there. I mean, god damn it. Thanks. Bro, like, whoever... Oh, she you went inside? For some unknown reason, the string seems to be pulled back into the coffin. And to this day, internet users are just as baffled as I am. There is little to- I mean, maybe the person was like, bro, I need my blanket. I mean, like, let me rest in peace. I mean, no disrespect though, but it's like, yeah, whoever kid this is, like, you cannot blame the kid. Uh, whoever the parent is, you gotta, like, just hold your kids, man. Like, this is, uh... Some people can view this as as disrespectful, but it's definitely bizarre. Like, damn! So something pulled it inside someone, or maybe someone. To no information about the video, so it may just remain a mystery. She a glitch in the matrix, maybe, or something else. Or what if it's like, no. like maybe like a movie set, or some people were just trying to record something, and they had they were on a set. And it's like, okay, whoever's inside is actually alive, and at this point you need to pull it, and boom, that's a video for TikTok. Could be that, you never know, man. Like, you never know, though. Now, if you ever have time to travel and visit a beautiful place, that would be Malta. Malta is an archipelago in the central Mediterranean between Sicily and the North African coast. And Malta isn't just a beautiful place to visit. 2021, it's a... It's also a place full of mysteries. Oh, now, very geez. similar to the ancient Egyptian pyramids, Malta has a few of its secrets that to this day have not been completely explained. And that would be the Malta cart ruts. The Malta cart ruts can be found at more than 150 different locations all over Malta. And to oh, this damn. day, there is no official explanation. Bro, you don't even see it's that small. You don't even see. You need to zoom in all the way. God damn. To what they are and what they were used for and how they were built. Researchers believe that these tracks were made artificially somewhere around 3,000 years ago. 3,000 years? Bruh. And because there is no official explanation, 
Some people believe that these tracks could have been built by some sort of ancient civilization with enough technology to imprint straight lines into limestone rock. Okay, you know what this tells me? If that's to be believed, it might be that like thousands of years ago, it's still kind of wild though, right? Is it like rock? This is why it never re reshaped. This is why it never had like a stable shape. Maybe, probably it's a rock. It tells me that maybe years and years ago, like thousands of years ago, somebody was using some sort of vehicle. But not like modern day vehicle. I'm talking about like maybe like something like a vehicle that people have to push it manually themselves. And it was probably carrying something very large, something very heavy. And that's why you see this dent, these dents, and they're lasting all the way until now. Honk for several meters, or sometimes even kilometers. Now there are several ideas to what the Malta cart roads could be, and the most conventional of them is that the roads were worn by heavy carts or sledges moving tons of stone. Y yeah, exactly, exactly, you see what I said, you see what I said? It could be this, yeah, you, you know, it got tires, could be something heavy in that, and... Miles across the landscape. But this idea has some problems. One oh, of them she... being that the tracks continue up steep slopes, across deep fissures, sometimes into the ocean, and to sheer cliff faces. In other words, they don't make sense. Mm -hmm. And it gets even worse. It seems that some countries are actually building things, structures, roads, and highways on top of these tracks. It's like for some mysterious reason, they don't care. Now in my opinion, the best explanation to what these cart roads could be comes from David Anderson, who believes that these tracks were built to actually manage water. But still, it wouldn't explain exactly how they were perfectly carved into this limestone. So you're 3, saying we're wrong? Years ago. He's Your saying opinion, we're who wrong. Who built the Malta cart roads and what for? Could it actually be some sort of advanced ancient civilization or maybe someone else? Why did they do that? Yeah, do y'all really believe that there was a advanced ancient civilization before the meteor hit or after like i don't know man if you say advanced civilization to me it's probably like aliens though like you know what i mean i don't yeah but before that before the meteor hit like i'm talking about like that's what we hear right like around the dinosaurs time the meteor hit uh right around the gulf of mexico this is why you have that round shape there and after that, humans came and slowly but surely we advanced and advanced. But he's saying like 3,000 years ago uh, that there was like advanced civilization. If you're going to say that, then I would have to think that it was probably not us. It was probably someone else, though. What yeah, in the I've seen hell? This, I've seen this clip. I've seen this clip. This is truly bizarre. Like, that's... <laughs> this is like, bizarre. Now, just imagine it's a beautiful day. You're looking out your window. There's a storm coming in the horizon. You start observing it, and all of a sudden, you notice that there's something strange in the clouds, something yeah. that doesn't make sense. This is what will happen with Michael Woodworth, who captured a strange phenomenon in the clouds. And this is what he saw. Oh, damn, though. Like, bruh, those are looking like eyes and shit, though. Yeah. Now what Michael captured on camera could be a crown flash, which is a rarely observed phenomena where oh, ice crystals shit. in a cloud line up and reflect and enhance sunlight. The strange thing about this is that recently many videos of crown flashes have been Yo, that looks so fake! That looks so like, uh, made up, right? Like, is that's like, doesn't look natural, doesn't look organic, doesn't look like... It's like someone had a light and it's like moving it like that, you know, like you're holding a light. Assume that there's a light here, okay? You're moving the light like that and you see those lines kind of like moving and shit. Showing up on the internet. Have you ever seen anything like this yourself? And in nah. your opinion, could these crown flash phenomena be something else? I don't know about that, son. Oh, shit. But ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen. It's uh, it's like more WTF. You cannot explain some of the stuff that just happened. Click on it and I'll see you right there. Subscribe.